Hey guys and welcome back to the channel Platinum Bricks 95 and we're back again with a non Lego news video for once. So guys, a lot of you may have noticed over the last week or definitely two weeks I'd probably say that I've been doing a lot of sort of news uh, videos, not a lot of IRL content and stuff. Basically, we'll get into that later with the channel update. But right now, I want to talk about this Lego storage. So guys, as many of you may have known or may have seen on the channel before, obviously behind you, you can't actually see them now, but there is my storage drawers. Now, these were 12 by 7 litre drawers, these drawers, and they're all for uh, tiles, plates, bricks, all different things, right? I want a lot of them so that I can individually sort all my pieces out. Now, the brand that I use is called Iris Oyama, I believe, and they actually do a six drawer tower as well. So guys, I actually got this for my birthday recently, quite luckily, uh, you know, one of my family members wanted to buy me a present. I said, why not get me one of these? Because obviously, again, some of you may or may not remember, I'm not actually working at the moment, so I'm not splashing money on Lego stuffs at the moment. So it's actually a good opportunity to at least get one of these and try it out. And don't worry guys, I will take you in for a closer look. I know it's not the best shot at the moment, but you will see it in further detail. Don't worry about that. So guys, because I had planned to get this originally and I, you know, I've been wanting them for a while, I figured why not take the opportunity and get my hands on one of them. And I've got to say, it's just as good as the 12 draw one. It really is. It does have a problem though, in the sense that it is far too big. Uh, feels like a lot of wasted space and you'll see what I mean when I show you the drawers. Now guys, like I have stated before, um, the plan is to have drawers all behind me here, push the desk forward obviously, and still have drawers behind the camera now where they already are. However, uh, I think I worked out that I need a total of 11 12 drawer storage towers. And then on top of that, I think I need four or five of these six drawer towers as well, because it doesn't make sense to get another 12 drawer tower, because I think eventually I will run out of room. I can only fit six on each wall. I think I could only fit five behind the camera. So I figured why not go for the six drawer tower. Now guys, when I do show you this, I want, I want to stress the point that I didn't realize like I knew they were seven litre drawers, but in my head, and that's the same as what's behind the camera, but in my head I was like, oh yeah, oh, everything needs a massive drawer. It really doesn't. Um, as you can probably might be able to see from here, they have got the things I wanted to get in them, in them, but there's a lot of wasted space. However, I don't mind too much because like I said, I'm getting 11, 12 drawer storage towers and then four or five of these. So if I I need to expand or put more drawers on and this, that and the other, I can just buy these six drawers and they will just sit on top of the 12 drawers, which is actually why I wanted this brand, why I wanted it the same as my other you know, drawers because then they all look nice and they all sit well together. And these drawers are amazing quality. I've, I've said it before, Really, I've had rubbish storage in the past, you know, really cheap rubbish plastic that breaks a lot of the time, you know, uh, drawers and then they get stuck or one of these legs will pop out. This just doesn't happen with these. They are amazing. So guys, I figured what I'd do now is uh, take you in for a little closer look at what's actually in the drawers. I haven't labelled them yet. I will be doing that. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, I figured you'd like to see what's actually in the drawers. So I'll quickly show you now. So then guys, here are the drawers in question, as you can see here, and they are exactly the same as these drawers here, except these are 12 drawer towers, and this is a six drawer tower, and it's due to sit up there, where I've already had it, by the way, and it does work, but I do want to get your opinion on something there. So guys, what did I decide to put in these drawers? Well, I need a six drawer tower for my minifig parts. So it'll be like heads, hair, hats, torsos, legs, arms and legs, that sort of stuff, you know. But I figured why not, actually, I've, I've managed to empty a few of these boxes. And that's the plan, is to get rid of all these boxes, get them out. Because whilst they're amazing storage, and I will be keeping them, 
Um, I don't want to actually put like lots of Lego, like look in there, you've got all my one by one doing studs and that's just not necessary. So yeah, anyway, what is in here? Well, the top drawer is chairs, steering wheels and levers. Then underneath we have containers and storage units, as you can see. Then underneath that we have what I like to call flags, because obviously all the flags are in there. Look, there's one from the original Black Dragon's Castle, whatever it is, which, are, by the way, the box I found up in my loft when I was clearing it out. Um, also, we're down here, we've got food and foodstuffs. Now, this is where it really hits home how much space I'm going to have in there. Like, that's all my food and food accessories in there, and yeah. It barely touches the side. And this one's even worse. This is chains and nets. But what I have actually done, and I probably shouldn't have, is put the wheels of this drawer in there. Because all of these drawers do come with wheels. All of these are on wheels as well. So, yeah. And then we come down here. And this one did actually make sense. So, here we've got rails and gates and stuff like that. And fences. Which I did want my own compartment for. So, yeah, guys. That is what the six drawers are going to be used for. Much more sort of, you know, uh, utility pieces. Not necessarily bricks or plates or tiles. But all the other bits that come within Lego. Right, guys. So, I just wanted to make sure this was in shot. And it is. I'll quickly scooch past my... Uh, tripod but what i actually meant was i want it to sit up here like this so on top of my storage unit we have six more drawers as you can probably see right now but what i actually want to get your opinion on is this okay now the thing is i'm very worried about this yeah sitting on top of this because as you can see it does sit back because obviously this drawer is pushed up against the sideboard that's just against the wall now guys i can actually take this off and clip this on top of it do you think i should do that my only reservation is i quite like the fact that if you look over here it starts on one by two and by the time you get down there we're down to like two by and one by eight and i quite like the order of things so I'm not sure whether I actually want like chairs on top of them. However, let me know guys, do you think I should pop this bottom off and just plonk this on top and actually connect it? Because I'm not sure. But the good thing is it has left me some space up the top, which I'll show you very, very quickly as we're here. Wee, there we go. Actually fits Lego sets on top. So when they're all set up, I'll put a bunch of Lego sets up there. So yeah then guys, that's what's been going on with the Lego storage. I've actually managed to get a six drawer tower and test it out and see what it looks like. And I'm very happy about that. However guys, onto the channel update part of the video. And if you did just tune in to see the storage, I don't mind if you just bounce now, it's fine. Um, but it, for those of you that do want to hear this, basically anyone who watched my vlog, I think two weeks ago, would know that I been having my bathroom done up right now i am going to be returning to the vlogs this coming week so don't worry guys you will be getting vlogs okay and i will be doing a lot more irl content because basically with like the painter and decorator here during the day you know it's really hard to find time to film irl content like i did it a little bit here and there but it was a real struggle because I was on the time limit. It'd be like when he quickly popped out to buy something or quickly popped out to have his lunch. And, you know, you're trying to cram everything in. And I feel like I'm on a real timeline. And I don't like that. Not timeline, like a uh, time limit. And I didn't like that. So I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's becoming a real struggle to do IRL content. However, my bathroom is finished and you will be seeing that in next week's vlog all right next sunday so a week today you'll be seeing that in the vlog i say finished i've got the plumber coming on tuesday and the electrician coming tomorrow but they're coming at night time so if i do want to do any videos it will be sort of you know uh i can actually film them during the day as opposed to having to wait until they've gone so yeah i have got them coming and then i'm getting my floor fitted but you'll see that all in next week's vlog however i do just want to say I will be reverting back to type and doing a lot more sort of Lego content. I've been promising Pluto, who's been watching the videos for ages, that I'm going to do this Throwback Thursday review and I still haven't done it. Okay, it's still, I'm literally looking at the set right now. You probably just saw it. It is coming this Thursday, all right? No cap, 
I'm gonna get it done, okay? I can't believe I said no cat, I'm too old for that. Right, but yeah, no rubbish. It will be coming on Thursday, okay, Pluto? So don't worry, mate. But that's why the IRL content's been suffering recently, but I will be coming back to it. And I have, I'm just gonna do a video that I've already done, but I'm just gonna say it here. I've worked out a system, right? I wanna post on Tuesdays, I wanna do my Throwback Thursday reviews and vlogs on Sunday, but I also wanna do a video on Tuesdays and I also wanna do a video on Saturdays. And it's just about finding what videos I can do on Saturday and Tuesday, which will let me sort of then have creative freedom in those videos, you know. If I've got a set video on Thursday and Sunday, I know I've got to put them out and it just makes sense. So yeah, that's what I'm working towards. You, I can't guarantee it's gonna happen straight away, but I am working towards that. So yeah, guys, that's why the IRL content has been suffering. So then guys, there you have it. That is the end of the video. Again, sorry for waffling and sorry for not a lot of IRL content recently, but it is coming back guys, all right? And I do hope you like my nice storage tower, my nice new storage tower. Again, if you wanna buy these storage towers, they are called Iris Oyama. Oyama is spelled O-H-Y-A-M-A, -A, I think. I think that's right, Iris O'Hammer Storage Tower. That's what they're called, and these are the ones that I bought, and they're very, very good quality. So yeah, guys, like I said, that is the end of the video. Uh, I wanna say, please like, comment, and subscribe. Sub to the channel if you're not subbed already. If you don't want to, I understand. But please do like the video, as it really helps me out here on the channel. And also, get down in the comments. I wanna know if you pop the top off that storage tower and just click this on, or whether you just sit it on top like I had it, I would be very interested to know. Also, something I didn't mention in the update, and I'm gonna mention it here very, very, very quickly. Um, I will still be doing news videos, okay guys? And especially around Lego Marvel. And I'll be honest, they're very cheap and easy to make. They're like cheap, nasty videos. They take about half an hour to make, if that. And they're very easy and you can smash them out very quickly. And they're good for filler videos, but, I've sort of got into the trap of doing them all the time and I'm gonna try and move away from that. I'm gonna try and focus on Lego sets I care about because I did a video on Monkey Kid. I've never had a Monkey Kid set in my life. I don't. So yeah, you get what I'm saying basically. So yeah guys, I will try and cut down on those but I will still be doing the news videos so don't worry about that if that's what you sub for. Anyway, I've just fallen into the trap of waffling and I do just want to say thank you so much for watching guys. It really does mean a lot. The continued support on the channel recently has been immense. So I do just want to take my time out and say thank you so much for supporting all my content. And yeah guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Good. Bye.